We don't have the ability to observe another reality where things we don't like about our reality happen differently. We can't see the costs nor the benefits, the relatively rational decisions nor the irrational. We can only observe the past, which does not dictate the future. So this kind of touches a little bit about on what are some of the things we've been talking about, about going back, hindsight. The hindsight prophets, they go back and say, well, hey, could have been different. How would you, could things could have been different? Things could always be different. But we don't really have a, we don't have a view of an alternate dimension where you can actually compare and contrast to this one. There is no alternate reality to say, well, if everything, if this one decision was different, made differently, how would that sort of butterfly, how would, what are the downstream effects of that ma major change? We don't have that ability to observe another reality. We can't see, you know, we can, you know, we can take one component, one aspect of something that happened in the past or is happening even right now and say, well, if we remove this, take it out and put something else in its place. Okay, here we go. We got that in there. The amount of impact that has isn't just, you know, take one out, put one in. There's a whole world of changes that happened there. And how people feel about it, how people were emotional about it, how people interacted with it, the actions they took. Did they feel positive, positivity? Did they feel more negative? Did, were they essentially neutral? All that change wouldn't matter. You, we can't tell. We can't see alternate realities. We can only kind of go, well, here's this thing called perfection. I'm going to compare what happened in reality to perfection or doing it completely perfectly right. And then if you're on political Twitter, especially, you might find that they say, well, your political person here, this political person here, is, uh, that's how my guy would have done it. Your guy, uh, he's uh, full of shit. You're uh, full of shit. They might use that and say, have this ideal in their head of like, well, if things had just gone my way, if we had had President Trump in 2012, my father actually said back in 2012, um, why doesn't Donald Trump run for president? He actually said that. And uh, I, I kind of get it because Mitt Romney is a cuck. Um, but, you know, imagine if people were like, well, maybe things would be better if we had Trump back in 2012 and I say that completely changes so many variables that that jumbles the board shakes the box with so many variables that there's no way you can tell the way things would be after 10 years with that dramatic of a difference you know just for one example but they'll they'll use that they'll they'll say uh, you know things weren't perfect things didn't happen perfectly and I think if uh, if we just did change this one thing, everything would be perfect. I'm like, no. The downstream effects. Downstream effects. We can't see the costs, nor the benefits, the relatively rational decisions, nor the irrational. We can only observe the past, which does not dictate the future. The past does not dictate the future. Learn from the past. Never forget the past but don't live in the past. The future is not set. And we can only observe the past. We can't, see, it's not deterministic. We can't say, you know, what happened before is gonna happen again. There are some things that are relatively, like that's why I, I apply casual fatalism. Some things are, the patterns are pretty observable, pretty noticeable, you, you understand. You know that, the sun's going to rise. Not forever. 
There's this thing called the heat death of the universe. One day, the entire universe is going to die. Everything dies. Everything dies. It happens. But for human beings that aren't living billions of years from now, the sun rises every day. The moon, well, it appears at night, sometimes a little bit during the day, but it appears at night. There are certain things that are predictable. So you can say that something is going to happen, but in terms of, you know, especially human events where humans control the, the outcome of things, of course, it, you know, the future isn't set. We, we've created so much. Look, at, look, at, look around you. This wasn't here 5,000 years ago. We created this thing. Now we have the Internet. We have done so much. So I say, you know, don't forget the past. Forgive, but never forget. But, you know, keep your eye on the future. And remember that we cannot see the other reality where the idea that we had, that I had, happened. It just doesn't happen that way. We can imagine it. And our imaginations are vast, almost infinite. No failure of imagination here. But you're not going to see, you, you can't see the other reality where the thing, something different happened. It's just a pipe dream. Maybe if your weed's really good, maybe if you took the right edible, you might be able to see that other reality. Get on a ayahuasca. Yes, don't take any drug advice from a YouTuber. In fact, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids.